Come on in to the humble abode. What's going on? I'm Dan from Four Years Strong. I'm Jay. I sell the shirts. Jay sells our shirts. He's also part of our family that lives in this beautiful wagon. And uh, so we'll kind of give you a tour. Uh, you saw the door that you came in. And it's got a nice little frosted window, lets the light in, you know. Um, we have a lot of decorations in our wagon, um, which we've kind of acquired over time. Um, a lot of the, the wrestling stuff is, is thanks to Jay and John. Jay and our tour manager John are real big wrestling fans, so we got a lot of really cool wrestling stuff in here. We start over here, above uh, the doorway here, we have some of the greats over here. Uh, Ted DiBiase, the Warrior, Macho Man, uh, High Guy, uh, <laughs> all, all greats in their time. And, some of them have passed, and uh, we remember them always. Yep. Uh, right over here is our boy Sting. Uh, recently came back to the WWE. We're excited for him and his matches. Up there on the window. Oh, we have a couple up here. Uh, Hogan, who is falling on some hard times right now. And, uh, he'll be back, you know. We got Razor. Razor Ramon? Uh, is he falling on hard times or no? He, yeah, yeah, but always. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Over um, here we have some of the current greats, Triple H, one of my favorites, and uh, Daniel Bryan. I like Bryan. Bryan's good. Yeah, Bryan. um, and we got Dwayne over there. I just don't want you to forget Dwayne. Yeah. Um, probably the greatest brings us the most inspiration every day. Is Instagram. This is, this is Moose. Moose um, drives the bandwagon for us. To make sure we get from place to place safely, which is nice. Uh, we also have a lot of other decorations that we've acquired. Um, We've done a lot of last minute like Walgreens Halloween decoration raids when they go on like super sale like two weeks after Halloween. Most of this stuff was acquired for about $11 which is nice. Um, this is pretty cool. This is one of my faves. This is our, our Ghostbuster guy. Can't really hear it but he sings a Ghostbuster song. He dances. Kind of looks like a white poop which I think is really nice. He's getting oh, browner. He is getting browner. He's been on three. Four tours with us now? Four tours with us now. So the cool thing is that, so all bandwagons are pretty much exactly the same inside. So when we go off of a tour, all of our decorations go into this box. When we start the tour again, uh, John and Jay and, and everybody, we get the decorations out and put them in the exact same place that they were when we left the last tour. So the wagon looks exactly the same as it did on the last day of the previous tour which is good and bad at the same time. Yeah. It's like you never left, which is, makes it more homey, but also makes it like, oh, remember the hard times. Never left. Yeah. yeah, remember the hard times. Exactly. Um, we, we put up some lights to make it just a little bit vibey. The, the, the tape's having a hard time staying up on this tour because it's a little more humid than normal, but you know, you gotta take what you get, I guess, you know? Uh, this is our fridge, um, it's got, some mushroom black light action on there, which is nice. Um, don't have a lot of really crazy stuff in here. Big jar of pickles, which is pretty important. It's always fully stocked uh, with polar seltzer. Polar seltzer's a big... At all times. Uh, yep, we always have our polar seltzers in here. It's very important. We pick them yeah. up the first day tour. And uh, usually a lot of leftovers, which is what you're smelling right now. Um, you know, again, Halloween stuff. I forget, this guy work? He might not work. Oh, there he goes. Oh, there he, goes. <laughs> he jiggles, which is sick. Uh, in the freezer, it's pretty early in the tour, so it's not insanely stacked. We got some Goldberg's, Goldenberg's peanut chews and a lot of just Boca and Morning Star vegan and vegetarian meals for some of the people that travel with us. This raccoon board I found in a pile of wood that was meant for burning. One day we had a day off uh, in Oregon. What was it? Something something lake? I don't remember. But the lake wasn't there. We, we went there because there was supposed to be a lake, but it turns out the camp was in like the dry lake bed. And there was actually no lake. But there was a pile of firewood and I found this sign and I thought it was sweet. So we took that. So. We don't really play many video, we don't have any video game things, but we do watch a lot of DVDs. And we've been collecting a pretty good collection of DVDs. Um, you know, we don't just like 
buy willy nilly. We like to, you know, make sure it's all quality. So we started off with the Frighteners, starring uh, Michael J. Fox, which is a great one. The Outsiders, which is a fantastic film. Sons of the Lambs, play that a lot. Uh, this movie we watched numerous times in the last tour at Bent Horizon, because where we're going, we don't need eyes. Um, Eight Legged Freaks is a pretty popular one. This movie really messed us all up. Tusk. We will not watch it We again. won't watch it's, it again. It's in there to remind us of the horrible time we had. Yeah. Great, great movie. It's a Just, great movie, uh, but it's a one watch, and then that's right. the end of that. Uh, we'd never leave home without one version of Stephen King's It. It's very important to us. Very important. Um, so we watch that pretty often. Also, Congo uh, is great. Jeepers Creepers, double feature, one and two, and Gone Girl. So, you know, we only stack in the classics. Uh, we also always have Animal Crackers for, you know, because we're old. We need something to, you know, suck on. Yeah. Put the bug on. Let's see what's in here. No. This is where we keep a lot of our cleaning supplies. Salmon colored cups. Yep. We're pretty clean. We try to keep, we try to keep, you know, a nice clean home. We got some salmon colored cups. Kind of a puce kind of color, which is nice. Um, and again, the tour is pretty early, so we don't have a lot of crazy stuff going on. Um, you know, we keep our Polar. drinks stacked up here, polar, and some waters. So now we're in the West Wing, and you know, there's a lot more wrestling memorabilia, and uh, still chewing animal crackers. This is our table. We don't do a lot there. Um, there's no really need for a table unless you're eating. Um, this is the bunk area. This is our junk bunk. So everyone throws their junk, except for one thing that is not junk. It's this guy. He also comes on all the tours with us, but he doesn't really have a big enough permanent spot. So he just comes out when we need a good tent, you know? Yeah. His name is Dwayne. Uh, yeah, his name is Dwayne. Uh, after Dwayne, the Rock Johnson. Yeah, uh, we can revisit that. Big inspiration. We'll say it again. It inspires us every day. Yeah. And so again, here's these are bunks. Uh, um, they're pretty just bunky. Um, I'll show you inside Al's bunks. Let's see what's going on in Al's bunk. Uh, Not much. Not a whole bunch. He uses iPhone products. Uh, Apple products. iPhone. Uh, he's got a pillow for his yeah. head yeah. and a blanket to keep him warm, which is very nice. Uh, like his lights, which is nice. You know, only the best. Only the best. Jake is currently sleeping in here right now. Uh, this is our bathroom, which, again, we keep pretty clean. Uh, we always put a nice little pine air freshener in there to keep things fresh. Uh, this is our shoe rack. Try to stay as organized as possible because when you get this many people living in a small space, you don't want the remnants of other people getting in your way. So we, we like to keep things organized. This is our shower room. Uh, I keep my show clothes back here when no one's using it. Uh, we have some towels. We got this nice rug just to get a little more homey in here. Um, and again, it's, it's still pretty clean in here. All of our our bathroom bags are up here. It's pretty good. We've got a mirror. Mirror's a little too low for me. That's okay. And uh, yeah, we just keep it pretty fresh back here. We we burn candles a lot to keep a nice little homey aroma. And uh, usually we go with like the more earthy scents, like pine and stuff like that out here. And in here, we usually use you know more of the like fruity kind of edible things. Sometimes like a grape, like a conquered grape, or or like a pumpkin pie kind of a scent. It's nice because you come out of the shower and you just, ah, oh, fresh baked pumpkin pies. It's delicious, it's nice. Uh, some people might not like that, but we, we happen to be all about it. Um, so that's, you know, that's, that's kind of the whole place. I mean, we got the East Wing, we got the West Wing, everything's covered. And, uh, you know, we've, we've got some storage up here for all of our, our fun belongings. I don't know whose this is. It's not mine. Um, but that's it. I hope you enjoyed our tour of our beautiful home away from home. And uh, go out and buy yourself a Concord Grape Candle. We recommend Yankee, uh, being from New England. And uh, Polar Seltzer. So. And Polar Seltzer. So those are the two things that we need in here along with our, all of our wrestling and Halloween friends. So 
thank you for checking out the wagon and see you next time. Mm -hmm.